Hi, I'm Bob Ross. So, welcome to the joy of the painting. I'm just gonna take that off. Too much work. So, let's begin by painting a sunset. Let's paint happy. If you're happy and you believe in what you're doing, then your painting is gonna be happy and it's gonna be amazing. So believe in yourself. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of the red and the white. Don't overdo it, don't overdo it. Just mix a little bit of the red and the white. Just mix like that. Start with the beautiful sky. Maybe we should get closer. Maybe not. Let's get closer. Like I said, we're just gonna be taking the wet brush and flicking it around. Just flick the devil out of that thing. Just flick it a lot. Hear it flick. Flick the devil out of it. She's gonna take your paints. Take a little bit of that red and the white again. Don't overdo it, don't overdo it. Paint this guy. Just paint it. Just go out and just paint it. Smack the devil out of your brush again. Just mix a little bit of that red and a little bit of that white. Let's overdo it this time. Just overdo it. Let's overdo it. Get a pretty sunset. Just like that. And be happy and believe in what you're doing and it's gonna be beautiful just like your soul. Once you have the base of the sky, you're gonna take this nice two inch brush. Get that wet that brush off a little bit. Especially if you need a brand new brush, a tip I recommend is get it wet and be the dough. So now that you have done that to brush, it's so happy here. Can I get a little bit of that orange? Yeah, just really get that. Let's mix a little bit of green with that and a little bit of blue. Just get a bunch of different colors here. Let's make that pretty. I see all the different colors that gives the painting. It just, it gives it so many beautiful colors. So let's just mix all that, put that here in the middle. Get a little bit of that green, put that here in the middle. See all the different colors make a beautiful mixture of a beautiful shade of orange. And it, you can, don't mix it too much though. You want to keep the beauty of the colors separated. Just ombre it out. Now I'm taking a nice fan brush. I want you to wet your brush again. Beat the devil. It. Taking that fan brush, it's it's a fan brush. Don't drop your fan brush. Now that you have a fan brush, take a little bit of that pink. And we're taking a fan brush. Why? Because we're gonna fan this out over all of it. This is gonna get that beautiful ombre. Now don't overwork it. Don't overwork it. Just. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now it's just for beginners to use watercolors. Um, I'm a beginner. Mm -hmm. So now it is time to paint the trees. Now I'm going to be taking this two millimeter paintbrush. And I think you guys already know what we're going to do. We're going to beat the devil out of it. So now. Remember kids, keep your cameras crusty and your paintbrush is moist. Now we're gonna get a little bit of that dark, deep green here. I'm gonna mix up a little bit of that stiffening blue. And that sea green. Just gonna paint. Flicks up, flicks, straight flicks, flicks, flicks. And we're gonna put them in different elevations to give the effect of different shapes and length trees. Taking a little bit of that grass green and that sea green, and that bell and blue. I'm gonna make some stripes, flicking them upwards, just like so. If you're not doing it like this, you're not doing it right. But you know, you gotta keep the happy thoughts. Happy thoughts is what makes a happy paint. Let's give some of that green, flick it up, flick it up, flick it up. 
just like that. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go back in with that two inch brush and beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it. Get a little wet at the tip. Get that deep green, that bell and blue, that baby blue. Really mix the shades. And just, we're going to dab it on in my technique if you've seen my other episodes. And it gives you a beautiful tree. Just really just throw it in there. Mix the colors but not too much. Remember happy thoughts makes a happy painting. We're just going to mix them shades again. Look at those beautiful trees. Look at that. And you know, I spent half my life doing other people's things. Just to paint some pretty trees. Some happy trees. If if they were people, they would have smiles on them. So we're just going to build them up. Just like that. And just mix them in four shades this time. Baby blue, bell and blue, sea green, grass green. We're going to mix them four shades together here. And spot them up again on the next few trees. Now that we've finished the trees, I'm going to go back in with a... Two millimeter brush again, right here. Beat the devil out of it. After you beat the brush, keep it nice and wet. Let's go in with this white here. Let's clear off that red with our finger. And just put it on your face. We're a painter. We don't care. Let's get a little bit of that actually white. Now I want you to just carve out your sea line, just like that. Beautiful sea lines. Keep it very wet. So, just as you're going, add layers of white paint to really keep the painting that comes on smooth. I did base the painting with that first, if I didn't say that already, and I'm sorry if I didn't, but hold on, what happened? So, after it's nice and soaked, take that biggest brush again and take the lightest blue here. Let's just go right in with that and make the ocean. It might take a couple of different wipes to get the water, but you'll get it. Remember, happy thoughts and happy paintings is how it works here on the Bob Ross Show. I'm just gonna take a one millimeter brush here and barely wet the tip. I'm not gonna, I'm actually just gonna beat the devil out of this brush too. Just beat the devil out of them. Now taking a little bit of water, I'm going to take this green here and just add some waves to that. Happy thoughts and happy paintings. Maybe let's add a couple birds in the sky with this nice black over here. Just going to take that deep. This is the Nigan black. We're going to paint some birds. Just look at that. That's a beautiful bird. Just paint some more of them birds. Them at different levels of elevation so you can see that there's birds all over now. Let's just make a couple of these in the background there. Let's do some here. Just do what you feel makes the painting beautiful. Don't break your thing either because you gotta have that. So now we are almost done with the painting. We're just gonna take the biggest brush again with that white and we're gonna brush it down in soft strokes right at the top of the water. Okay? Make sure that's very, very liquidy white. It drips right off the palette. And we're gonna wipe that right down to give it that streaky effect. And over to the side. That's gonna make it look like the water is giving off that tree. So now we're just gonna draw the trees in the water. So get that dark green. Makes a little bit of black little bit blue and just draw them out into the water see that we can see the reflection of the trees in the water so just let's just add a couple branches here swirling effect is my favorite for this part get a little bit more water a little bit more of that green that blue and that black swirl it around swirl it around a little more green we'll stipple that right there yeah that's a little bit i'm going to take that base brush again 
And we're gonna practice that stippling technique. Take that light green and just stipple it over that. And it's okay, it can look like it's totally just melting right into the water. You just really want that tree effect. And that is it's so beautiful. So let's paint a sun. Let's paint a happy sun like we see in the Teletubbies. So let's get a little bit of that beautiful bright banana yellow. Okay. I'm just gonna um, go right here, I think. That's a beautiful spot for that. That sun, I don't know if you can see it. So let's get a little orange. Let's make it a nice sun. This is a very happy sun. Just like us, we are very happy painters, and that's why we paint our face. Sometimes you just gotta paint your face to know what you're doing. Abby, let's paint on a smile we're at too. We're happy painters. So, grab and dip more of that orange and yellow. And really deepen that sun and make some wings on it. There, look at the beautiful painting we've created. You know, the last step always for painting is taking the very smallest hundredth millimeter brush. We're gonna just beat the devil out of it softly and get that black right in the corner. And sign your name. This is the most important part. I think very happy when we do it. Look at that. The Bob Ross. Do a little flick under it. Let's get a close-up. Finish painting. Remember, kids, keep your canvases crusty and your paintbrushes moist. I'll see you on the next episode of The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross.